hello in this video i want to show you how you can build your web pages and um, there are several ways you can start it take for instance this is one of my page assuming this is not my own page and maybe i visit another person's website and i see something that i love in his website and I want to copy the exact thing or similar layout. I will show you how to copy a similar layout. Or if you already have a design in your head, you can also use this method I'm going to show you. Now this is one of my page. So I am going to go to my new website now. And I'm in the dashboard and I want to design the home page. So what I would do is first of all let me set it properly because if you look at our sample here our sample does not have a sidebar. A sidebar is um, there is uh, a column that normally is, you can al always see it on the right or on the left where add are always displayed. So our sample doesn't have that one. So we make sure that this one does not have that. So let me close this. Uh, this is where I'm going to set it. I am going to no sidebar. Okay, that is already. I think I set it some time ago. Then what else? We that's, okay now no sidebar. That is done. Then I need it fully stretched. There are so many patterns here, but this particular one, I need it full width stretched. Then I'm going to disable tie two. Then I will also disable fissured image. I think that is all. You can also choose to disable primary header. In that case, Okay, this one has a primary header. What you are seeing here, here you have logo, you have a um, home, about, and contact us. This is primary header. So I can disable this. If I don't want that one to show, then I disable primary header. Then I will update it. Okay, now that I've updated it, I'm going to edit it with Elemental. Okay, now you can see there is no nothing. It's empty. Except this, this is this is what I fixed before. You can see now it is empty this page is empty so we want to edit it now the first thing we will do is if you look at this one you can see this is this part is have a different color from this so what give this color is called section from all the way from the left to the right here is section so i am going to go and create section so i'll create section here and if you also look at it inside that section you see some write-up and the write-up are a kind of pattern they are not scattered they are aligned on the right and also aligned on the left and this means we are also going to create an inner section. We are going to create inner section. So I'm going to go here and drag inner section to that larger section. And I'm going to select the inner section. If you hover your cursor around this place, you see there are two sections here. One is inside the other. So I make sure the one I'm going to select is the inner section, which is the lower 
uh, three dots you are seeing here so i select it and if i select it it will now give me room to edit it so i am going to specify the content width the content width i would like to use is 800 pixel and once i type that 800 pixel here you see the box the column here have shrinked okay now the next thing we we'll also look at is you can see there is something like an image at the background here and the image is not moving so this image you are seeing is on the bigger section so i am going to get the image first the image i want to use you can download it from the internet or whichever way you want to get your image the image that you like take for instance i go to the to google and type background image and different images will show up and let me select image you can see different images here and let's see the one we we'll like all right i think um, i'm okay with this i want to use this and it's large enough it's 400 pixel by 4000 pixel by 2.25 so i'm going to save it if i save it in my document i will save it as background background 3 and save okay now i can go here so what i'll do is i make sure i select that bigger section if i select that bigger section i'm going to go to style if i go to style then i am going to select the background type then instead of color i am going to pick images and um, here i am going to upload my image then i click insert okay if i click insert there are some other things i need to do with the image i need to set it properly here i am going to select no repeat so that the image will be one then the attachment i don't want it to scroll i want it to be fixed so that it will be something like this you can see if i'm scrolling the image is not moving rather it is the right up that is moving up and down and that is what i want to do so i don't want the images to be moving rather the right up should be moving up and down so i select fixed then the size i'm going to select cover so that it will cover the whole page i think with this um i am done with that i hit save okay then let's look at one more thing okay these ones are right up they are right up so i am going to select i will go to this place and pick the first one we have here is a small letter is this the, the the font is not as big as this and that means these write-up are different so i'm going to use i will pick text editor and place it here and in our sample we, we only have one column so i'm going to remove the second column and this is how i will remove the second column i will bring my cursor over 
over this uh, inner section and uh, you will see a, a sign of column here so i'm going to right click on it and hit delete that column is gone and you can see my right top is inside but because of the color the color is not too visible and let's look at our sample okay we have if you look at our sample here we have a color that is covering that is overlaying the image and assuming i want to use this exact color then i can pick it and if you want to pick color you use this um, color pick eyedropper it's a google chrome extension if you don't have it yet you can install it on your system and you now have it here so i'm going to pick it if i pick it i go to where i have that color i think this right up is that color i don't want to pick this one so that it will not because this one is mixed with image rather i will choose to pick this then i'm going to copy it i've copied the code already and i go to my own website then i am going to select the the bigger section then i am going to go to overlay background overlay all right this is the background overlay and i am going to select the color and the call i'll now paste that color code inside here let me select it again okay if i paste the color code inside here i can adjust the opacity or opacity here so that it would a kind of blur the image uh -huh. it's blurring the image a little so that the image will not be too visible but will be a little bit visible it creates an effect then the color the color of the text i want it to be to have contrast to show clearly so i am going to select style then i will select the text color i will use white okay now it is okay then you can now type whatever you want to type here so if you want to edit this, this text all you need to do is to select this pencil if you select the pencil then you go to content then you can now write whatever you want to write here you can type whatever you want to type here okay okay if that is done then the next thing is we have this we have this uh, bigger fonts which has different colors so i am going to go to that same page then i will click on this icon instead of text editor now i'm going to use heading i will drag it into that same section and make sure you are dragging it into the inner section don't drag it outside of it i don't want it to be outside i want it to be inside the inner section okay now ah sorry i am not supposed to use heading here i supposed to use text editor so i'm going to delete that because it has two different colors if you use heading you cannot change the color it will the the colors will be uniform but if you use text you can change the color so i'm going to use text i will pick text editor and put it inside that inside that section then i can i don't want to type anything now i don't have the time to be i'll just copy this 
and paste here then these are the ones that have different colors and make sure you put it at the center make sure it's centralized then this one should also be centralized okay then we are going to change the size the font size so you click on click on this pencil icon then you are going to go to style you go to typography and you are going to adjust the size you are going to adjust the size okay the size is okay now the next thing is the color let's let's look at our our sample our sample is part of it is white and the internal part is is um yellow so i am going to select the whole of these and the color will be white okay if the color is white then i can pick the color from here assuming i want this to be exactly this color i will go to my color eyedropper then i will go here i'll click on the color and the code will show the code will show so i can now copy the code if i copy the code i go here then i click on this pencil icon so that it will give me room to edit edit it so i'm going to highlight all these if i highlight this i will go to text editor then instead of picking any of this color any of any of these colors i'm going to pick custom then i will paste my code here ctrl v and hit ok you can see this is the exact thing we have here okay then we are we are moving we are progressing the next thing is uh, we have another right up here which is a little bit bigger than the first one so we can simply copy this if i bring my cursor to the pencil here i right click and duplicate so if i duplicate i have duplicated this first text then i cannot drag it lower i drag it lower to the lower part of this then since the size is bigger than this i will select it if i select it i go to style then i hit typography i am going to adjust the size to be a little bit bigger i think uh, 20 will be okay 20 is not too bad okay now if you can see it the text is bold so let me bold it I'll still select it and go to content then I will highlight all and hit bold okay now that color is that text is now bold then the next one we have is you have a button here you have a button here and uh, so we are going to go here we'll go to this dot uh, this icon and we are going to select our we are going to select a button okay here is a button so i will drag it and place it here and make sure you are still placing it inside that inner section and center it after centering it let's go back to our our sample you see the text the text is a little bit bigger and so we select this you go to this pencil icon and select it oh okay you select it then you go to style 
style hit the typography then adjust the the text size to something like 20 then we we'll go to weight the weight i normally use is 700 pixel 700 pixel is okay then you hit publish you hit, you hit update okay then there are some other things we still need to do if you look at the the button this is the color if we want to use this color then we are going to pick our color eyedropper and we'll bring the cursor there and click we'll copy the code then i'm going to select it i'm going to go to style make sure it's, it's on style and make sure this uh, normal is uh, is where you are we have not reached uh, over yet so i'm going to select the background I click on the color of the background then i'm going to paste the code here you can see the color the color of the background have changed then let's still look at it and if you look at it it has a border it has a border so i'm going to still select the button i am going to go to style then okay make sure the the button is still selected selecting the pencil icon then you go to border if you go to border type i will select solid then i'm going to adjust the the width to something like something like four pixel four pixel is okay it's not too bad then if you see our sample it has a round edge it has a round edge so i want to create that effect and make sure that button is still selected then you are going to go to border radius and increase it and make sure this uh, link value is locked so that it will increase all the side equally i normally use 10 10 is okay all right then there's still more one more effect we need to create you can see when you are hovering it the text changes to black while the the border changes to this is a yellow so i want to do that i make sure that button is still selected then i'm going to take it to hover now if i take it to hover the text color should be black that is when someone is hovering around uh, uh, around the the button the text should be black then the border color should be yellow the border color should be yellow okay then the background okay the background should be a kind of blue a darker blue first of all select the blue then i want to make it darker oh it's too dark okay now it's okay like this i'll press escape then i will save it then you can if you want to change the right up i i don't want to type anything now let me just copy this you want to change the right up then you make sure it's selected you go to content then this is where you are going to type the 
the content then this is where you paste the link where you want them to be directed to when they click on this button you you will copy the the link and paste it here okay then the next thing is um you have this one here you have a uh, this warning here let me just copy it because i don't want to type anything now i just want to show you how to create this then i am going to i can simply duplicate it right click on this pencil i will right click and duplicate so i'm going to drag it below the button then i'm going to edit it i will simply type warning okay then the color i want it to be the same color as uh, this so i will color i'll copy it then i can select it and go to style then the test color i will paste the code here and that is all then the next thing is uh, you also have uh, this this text here the text has um, bullets how do you create this bullet effect i will show you now you go here you go to your to your dashboard and you are going to pick you pick icon icon list look for icon list okay this is icon link so icon list you are going to drag it and put it here then if you want to use you can see our sample here is bullet with uh, dot then you simply select like this one is tick this one is a uh, x and this is a kind of a round cycle thick round cycle let me delete all this so that it will remain one then i am going to select it and i want to update the icon so i i click on this icon i look for the icon that represents that dot or let's search for it dots okay let me use this dot with cycle and or let me let me pick let me pick uh, dots let me pick this okay now if you want to edit the the write up the writing in the list you will simply click on it if you click if you double click on it it will give you room to type whatever you want to type you can type whatever you want to type here then after typing it you can duplicate it by clicking on this icon if you click on that icon then you will see it that copied version here then you click on it again and edit it to wherever whatever i want to edit it to and that is how you do all of them then the next thing is the color is not visible what color do, do we have here we have white here so we are still going to select that icon list and we are going to go to style 
if we go to style then we'll pick the text and we'll change the color here we'll pick white so that it will be visible enough okay you can see it's more visible now okay then yes mm -hmm. please don't make noise i'm making video okay now you can see another effect here you can see this or uh, white white section go a little bit above this line so assuming we want to create that effect how do we do it okay let's go okay if you look at it you, you see a different color here this one is white and this one is blue so it means these are different sections so i'm going to create another section a bigger section a big section and the background is the background remain white okay then i'm going to place an inner section to it and i will remove the column and make sure i select it and the size of the content width should be 800 all right now i am going to select this and make sure i select this column right click and select the column if i select the column then I will go to advanced then I am going to unlock this and I want to push it up if it's not going up here let's use padding let me unlock this I want it to go up or let's put some let's fix in some write up and see whether it will go up let me copy this and let me center it okay now I select the column then I want to it's still not making any move let me try margin again okay the margin is working so okay it is this is the text that is moving i don't want the text to move i want the column to move so i select the column okay i will take it to negative ah undo okay or oh, let me select the whole section okay let me select the section and go to advance then let me unlock this okay now the section has gone up but the color remains uh, the color is, is uh, transparent so we want the color to be white like this so if you want the color to be white we are going to select the column this column we select the column then we'll go to the style 
and we will change the background to white correct let me escape you can see this is the effect then you can see it has covered this uh, icon list and we don't want it to cover it so for it not to cover it we are going to select that icon list and we will go to advance and change the margin so that it will go up a little it's still not responding so let me use a padding C it's still not working I want this icon list to go up because this is a kind of block in it let me still select it and it's going down if I reduce it it's going up okay then let me select this one and bring it down a little okay there is another way i can do it i can put a spacer here let me put a spacer in between them uh -huh. i think the spacer work let me adjust the spacing a little oh, okay let me still increase it okay then let me still select this this uh this section and still move it up okay oh no no all right now you cannot and do okay can I write whatever I want to write here if you want to you want to type all this stuff here you are going to type your own there make sure you don't copy as I'm copying is because my time is limited that's why I'm copying you will you are supposed to type your own don't copy so I will paste it here and make sure you center it okay then the next thing is uh, we have um, some right up here and we have an image here and we have a heading here so you are going to i can duplicate this heading then drag it there then what's the color the color is this color so i can copy this color this color code and i will select it go to style click on text color and paste the code okay now the next thing is uh, there is a right up here and there is an image here meaning this is an inner section that has two columns one of the column carries the text while the other column carry the image so i'm going to go back to my website and let's change the right up here the right here the right up here is uh, 
read this The right top is read this so let's change it to read this okay all right okay now we now have an inner section that has two columns so i'm going to get an inner section Let me get an inner. It, I'm, I've not grabbed it well yet. Uh -huh. I'm going to place it below. It has not come yet. Okay. Seems not to be responding. Just be hovering over it, drag it and make sure you are hovering it. When it's ready to place, you will see the sign will change to blue. I don't know why it's not picking it. Okay, let me see where I can put it on, at the top. okay that is that then i'm going to select it and change the the content width to 800 and here i am going to put text then the the column on the right i'm going to put image then i am going to select it and upload the image i want to use okay this is the image i can reduce the size of the image a little by dragging this stuff here then you can now edit the right top i think uh, with this you should be able to build your web pages this is the much we can take now see you in the next video bye